on behalf of Michigan State University, welcome to MSU Tollgate Farm and Education Center. My name is Jeff Dwyer, and I have the privilege of being the director of MSU Extension. It's rare to see 160 acres of unfettered land in the midst of a 4.6 million person population base. When Adolph and Ginger Meyer gifted the first 60 acres to MSU through the Americana Foundation in the 1970s, we made an ongoing commitment to support agriculture and natural resources education. In addition to enjoying this beautiful site, each year more than 20,000 people have unique experiences here. Preschool programs, summer camps, and school field trips that connect classroom science to authentic hands-on applications. 4-H youth devel development programs, a community-supported agriculture program that distributes produce grown on the property, and a farmer apprentice program teaching growers how to operate diversified, sustainable, small-scale farms. A lot goes on here, and we are growing our programs and our partnerships every day. And now, we are proud to host the Sakura Garden. We are excited to expand on our long-standing partnership with Oakland County and the City of Novi, and look forward to strengthening and deepening that partnership through this outstanding project. We are delighted that this Sakura Garden is a way to highlight our partnership and the agriculture and natural resources environment that we all care deeply about. Thousands of visitors from communities across Michigan will enjoy the beauty and engage in the cultural and historical significance of a traditional Sakura Garden. Before we get into our program, I would like to take a moment to introduce to you a few people who have been key to this whole process. First, I'd like to introduce Rick Foster and Bob Jansen from the Americana Foundation. As I mentioned a moment ago, their foundational gift of land and their ongoing support to Michigan State University, MSU Extension, and the surrounding community was paramount to the creation of Tollgate. I'd like to introduce Ed Scott, our MSU Extension District Coordinator in Oakland and Macomb County. <laughs> Working with Irene and our partners at Oakland County, Ed has been instrumental in bringing this project to fruition. I'd also like to introduce Mike Mathis, the MSU Extension Education Director here at Tollgate. Mike? and the gentleman who has put a lot of time in in recent weeks helping to make the actual project happen, I'd like to introduce Roy Prentice, the Tollgate Farm Manager. <laughs> Thank you for the opportunity to acknowledge them. We have several other staff here so that I hope during our time following uh, the ceremony and, and the program that you'll take the opportunity to meet them uh, and talk with them and learn more about what we do. So we are pleased to have you all here today for this historic event. To talk more about that, I want to introduce Robert Gatt, mayor of the city of Novi. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the greatest city in Michigan, maybe the whole USA, <laughs> Novi. It's my distinct honor and pleasure to serve as the mayor of this great city. And if you've heard me speak before, it's no doubt you've heard me say, in Novi, we have much to be proud of excellent schools, outstanding public safety, friendly neighborhoods, quality development, abundant recreational opportunities, and most importantly, cultural diversity. You see, in Novi, we know that diversity is strength. It enhances opportunities for education, understanding, and unity. Our residents and businesses thrive in a multicultural environment by learning from each other and neighborhoods are flourishing with opportunities for friendship. Today, we add to that list of items another cultural enrichment with the opening of the Sakura Garden. 
I would like to thank our friends at the Michigan State University Extension here at Tollgate Farm, the Council General of Japan in Detroit, the Japanese Business Society of Detroit, and L. Brooks Patterson and Oakland County for their partnership with Novi and bringing this project to life. We truly value your commitment to our Novi. With thousands and thousands of Asians and Asian Americans in Michigan, most of whom live within 50 miles of this garden, I hope that visitors come from near and far to enjoy the Sakura Garden. You see, in the words of the Japanese poet, Kobayashi Isa, I hope I pronounced that right, quote, in the cherry blossom shade, there's no such thing as a stranger. Now, I like this quote so much, if Novi wasn't such an awesome name, I might propose renaming our city to Sakura. <laughs> Pete, I'm just kidding, okay? <laughs> we all know that there's only one Novi in the entire United States, and it's the greatest city in that country, too. It's here in the greatest county in the country, Oakland County, led by the greatest county executive anywhere in the country, L. Brooks Patterson. Yeah. <laughs> but we also know, like the quote, there are no strangers in Novi. Everyone is welcome to enjoy not only this garden, but all that our community has to offer. So before I close, I found it beautifully interesting that Sakura, cherry blossoms, are a symbol of renewal. Each year in the spring, for just a few short weeks, this garden will be alive with vibrant pink blossoms before they fall to the ground. Thus a metaphor for life, beautiful yet fleeting. We must appreciate the good times because they won't last forever. I look forward to the glory this garden will bring and the reminder to not only appreciate life, but of the enduring and lasting friendships we are blessed with, each of you. Thank you all again for your partnership in bringing the Sakura Garden in Novi to life. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mayor Gatt. Next, it is my pleasure to introduce Japan Consul General Wada. Thank you, uh, Dr. Dwyer, uh, Governor Snyder, Governor Mikazuki, uh, County Executive Patterson, Mayor Gatt, uh, Commissioners and Council Members, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Uh, thank you for inviting us to join in the celebration of the opening of Sakura Garden in Novi. I, uh, uh, it gives us great pleasure to witness uh, this become reality. We are also delighted to join uh, Governor Snyder and Governor Mikazuki in celebrating the 50-year sister state relationship between Michigan and Shiga. What began with lake conservation and preservation has broadened to economic, cultural, and academic exchanges. Today, we have gathered in the city of Novi, great, greatest city in Novi, <laughs> which is home to uh, Ringo Kai, the Japanese Saturday School, JBSD, the Japan Business Society of Detroit, annual Japan Festival, and more than half of the 7,200 Japanese residents in Oakland County. Nobai is the largest uh, concentration uh, of the Japanese uh, community in the state. On behalf of the Japanese community, I wish to express my sincere appreciation to all of the organization and sponsors, including County Executive Patterson and Oakland County and MEDC, for launching this Sakura Garden project. I hope that this garden will flourish for years to come as a symbol of friendship between Michigan and Shiga, and, 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 and of course, Japan. Later, we will listen uh, to the koto performance of Sakura Sakura. Perhaps you will get the sense of how much cherry blossoms are cherished in Japanese culture. Sakura is a sign of spring, new start of the year, and renewal. They remind us of the brevity of our own lives and how we must treasure the beauty in all things. 
I'm hopeful that the citizens of, of Nobai and the surrounding communities will visit this garden to experience sakura and celebrate the arrival of spring together under blossoming trees. Thank you very much. Thank you, Council General Wada. It is an honor to have you with us today. Earlier, I mentioned the strong, long-standing partnership between MSU, MSU Extension, and Oakland County. No one has been more supportive of that relationship than Brooks Patterson, Oakland County Executive and good friend to Michigan State University. I'd like to invite him to say a few words. I want to thank all of you for being here, certainly. Uh, Governor Snyder, thank you, my friend. Uh, Mature Awada, uh, who is the Council General, who have known you for a number of years, nice to see you here. Governor Mikasuki, uh, Governor of uh, Shiga Prefecture in Japan, welcome. Nice to meet you this, earlier this afternoon. My good friend, the Mayor, Bob Gatt. I hope I haven't missed anybody, and all the sponsors, of course, who are introduced, and sponsors who make this whole, whole event possible. Thank you for your generosity. Uh, and welcome here to the MSU Tollgate Farms and the Education Center, where we celebrate really the uh, the launch of uh, the grand opening of the establishment of a permanent Japanese destination, the Sakura Garden. I, I know it's going to be a destination a spot for years to come because it's going to grow, it's going to blossom, and uh, we'll have some events here, I'm sure, from the Japanese community. Uh, this is a partnership between Oakland County, the Council of Japan, uh, from whose Really, you, I guess your assignment is in the city of Detroit. The Japanese Business Society of Detroit, and the city of Novi, and the MSU Extension Center. So there's a whole lot of partners to make this happen. Some of you may not realize, but in Oakland County, it's the largest concentration of Japanese-owned firms, businesses, in the entire Midwest. Uh, more than 270 firms, one followed the other, one followed the other, and that succession of interests has now created 270 companies operating here uh, it gives us a, you know, some bragging rights in the entire Midwest. Oakland County prides itself on an international diversity. Uh, we have 1,050 owned firms from 39 nations around the world. Our biggest participant uh, is Japan. And uh, so I thank you for that. Thank you for your support and your investment. The Sakura Garden uh, is, uh, for Japanese, it means uh, the, the cherry blossom. So it will be a cultural asset for our region and will be enjoyed by the public for generations to come it is a way of solidifying the strong relationship between Oakland County, Michigan, and Japan. And you've heard how, how long that goes back, over 50 years. And uh, I'm told that it takes five years uh, for these cherry trees to reach full maturity and blossom. I hope you all brought a snack because we're going to wait. <laughs> <laughs> I got to tell you how I, I, I'm, I'm leaving my script here. That's dangerous. How I got involved in the... Uh, I got involved in this whole affair. One of my staff members said, hey, Brooks, they're going to plant 18 trees for $10,000. You can participate. I did my math, 18, you know, divided by 10,018, that's 555 bucks. I said, hell yeah, I'll participate. <laughs> I get my invoice for $10,000. I obviously misunderstood. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that employee is still looking for work. So, <laughs> so anyway, uh, back to uh, my, my printed script. Um, I want to thank again the sponsors. Uh, without you guys and gals, this would not be possible. And you'll see the names uh, listed on the signs around you, on the plaque over there. And of course, I'd be remiss if I didn't you know, credit my team, Economic Development Director Irene Spanos, Management Budget Director Lori Van Pelt, who is of Japanese heritage. Her mother was born in Japan. Uh, Matt McDougall from uh, my Department of Facilities and Management, who is the project architect, it takes a whole team of people to get involved to make this happen. You should know that the Sakura Garden is one of many initiatives of which Oakland County, and uh, we have partnered up with the Japanese community and MSU. An Asian village with restaurants, special shops is being planned for a couple of miles down the road. We have a welcoming committee, greeting Japanese executives and their families who are assigned here, make them feel welcome, explain to them you know, what, where you can do the basic things such as shopping and so forth. Uh, it's our goal to make uh, our Japanese uh, guests or new, new, new uh, in, uh, residents of this area uh, make, make them feel welcome, which they are. The committee is creating a Michigan resource guide for these families. It will be available to Japanese companies free of charge for them to hand out as they see fit. The resource guide will be available in English and should be available beginning of next year. 
On September 26th, the county is partnering with the U.S. Japan Council to host the Women's Leadership Conference. This is a big deal. Uh, they're coming from all around uh, the world, but from, certainly from Japan, a big delegation. Keynote speaker will be Irene Hirana uh, Inoue. She's the president of the U.S. Japan Council and the widow of U.S. Senator uh, and con Congressional Medal of Honor winner Daniel Inoue. We remember him from Hawaii. So it's going to be uh, uh, that's going to be a great program, September 26. So uh, uh, back to my uh, close. Uh, it's going to be a lucky person who will win a uh, trip to, to Japan. You had to sign up at the reception desk, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I hope you all signed up. Uh, I'm about to lose our audience because they're all going to run over there. But <laughs> it's a trip, round trip uh, fair to Japan, courtesy of Delta Airlines. Certainly want to thank Delta. But again, back to all of you. Thank you so much for being here and making this happen. Thank you. thank you, Brooks, and thank you for our great partnership. In 1968, Michigan and Shiga Prefecture became sister states. Though these states are 6,000 miles apart on different continents, each year of this relationship brings us closer together. To talk more about that, I welcome Governor Mikazuki of Shiga Prefecture in Japan. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Taizo Mikazuki, uh, Governor of Shiga Prefecture. I'm very, very glad to be here, the greatest city nobody. <laughs> of the greatest county, Oakland, <laughs> of the greatest state of Michigan. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Thank you uh, for your warmest heart and support uh, uh, for recover, re recovery from uh, earthquakes and typhoons. Thank you for your uh, support. Uh, thank you so much uh, for inviting me to such a beautiful opening ceremony. I am sincerely delighted to convey my warmest congratulations on the uh, grand opening of Sakura Garden. You may have seen the cherry blossoms in Washington, D.C. The Japanese cherry tree is a symbol of the friendship between the United States and Japan. Today, we got a new symbol of the friendship, not just between the two countries, but also between the two states, Michigan and Shiga. Thanks to your cooperation, you have built a strong bond of the two states since 1968, when the then governors signed the sister state agreement. We celebrate the 50th anniversary this year, and I hope, uh, sorry, we celebrate the 50th anniversary this year, and I hope that we will keep our friendship deepening, uh, developing, and everlasting, just like those cherry trees grow forever. Thank you so much. Arigatouraimashita. Thank you, Gover Governor Mikazuki. It's our honor to have you here at Tollgate today. So Governor Mikazuki's traveling companion during his tour of Michigan today is a familiar face to many of us. Governor Rick Snyder is drawing to a close his second term as governor of the Great Lakes State. In those eight years, he has been a good friend to MSU Extension, but I believe this is his first visit to Tollgate. I hope it won't be your last. You'll have a little more time on your hands, hopefully, so <laughs> come and enjoy. Please join me in welcoming Michigan Governor Rick Snyder. Well, thank you for that warm welcome. It's great to be here today, and as you can see, I'm always proud to be with my dear friend and fellow governor, Governor Mikazuki. Uh, each and every time we go someplace, he shows me up with his English. So let's give him a large round of applause. He, would, he does fabulous. I would already be sitting down if I was doing Japanese. <laughs> and you would have left to sign up for the ticket. <laughs> so it's great to be here. And also with the Council General, uh, been a good friend, and my colleagues um, from Oakland County and the Mayor, thank you so much for the partnership. It's wonderful to be in your communities. Uh, it's great as I travel Michigan, I get to go to the greatest communities in Michigan on a regular basis. <laughs> this is a wonderful community, though. 
Uh, one of the things I'd mentioned to you that was great, uh, we had Governor Mikazuki bring a delegation, and he's brought several delegations this time to Michigan. Um, when he came last time, we actually inaugurated the Japanese garden at Meyer Garden. Um, and now we're inaugurating this garden. So we have high expectations on your future visits. We're going to get a new Japanese garden in Michigan every time you visit now. <laughs> But this is a special place. Um, when you look at our state, the center of our Japanese community is right here. And you should be proud, Mayor, and you should be proud, Brooks, uh, both in terms of the business center for the Japanese community in our state, but also where they've chosen to live and raise their families. And that's something special. And it's great to see us continue to develop that relationship right here. And one of the things I can say with great confidence is sometimes you wonder as you do a new development like this, how well is it going to be maintained? How well is it going to do? Well, the best part is, is we have one of the world's greatest agricultural institutions in the world being our steward. So we're in no better hands in the entire world than being on the farm here. Um, it's out one of the great institutions in our country in so many fields, but particularly agriculture. So thank you for your great service, and it's great to be here and to have this island of farming right here in a wonderful community. Um, as we look at it, though, we should be pleased. If you look at the history of the cherry blossom, the cherry tree, it is a connection between our two countries. Um, in Japan, we all know the significance of the cherry blossom. And Mayor, you're very elegant in your quote. Um, in Michigan, we grow a lot of cherries, folks, but we don't get to enjoy the blossoms that much. Uh, we are the cherry state in our country. But it's not often we have a special place like this that brings us the greater meaning of the cherry other than as a commodity or a great thing to enjoy. Um, this really brings it home for our Japanese community is a place to reflect on the relationship that's been built. But what's most powerful to me is beyond just the Japanese community. It's an opportunity for the people of Novi, the people of Oakland County, the people of the state of Michigan to reflect on our relationship and to be thankful for what has been built between Shiga and Michigan over the last 50 years, what has been built between the United States and the country of Japan over many decades, and to be proud of that and to be thankful for that. And also to give us an opportunity, though, to look towards the future, to say, although we're proud and thankful, we can do even better. So as you come visit this place in the future, and I hope to come back as a private citizen, I can probably use some farming lessons too. I need a new profession. <laughs> we'll look forward for ways that we can think about continuing to build this relationship um, by watching those trees grow, to see them flourish, and see how not only we can flourish, but our children can flourish, and we can make sure our children are building the same kind of relationship that we've built between ourselves to make it stronger and better for generations to come. Thank you so much. Thank you, Governor Snyder. Sakura, or cherry blossoms, are a special flower for the people in the country of Japan as they are for the people of the great state of Michigan. As we renew and nurture this relationship with our Japanese friends, I want to direct your attention behind me here where we will plant a ceremonial cherry tree to cap off this phase of the Sakura Garden. We hope this will not be the last, and we welcome more partners to find a home here in the Sakura Garden. We hope as the tree is planted, we will enjoy Koto players playing Sakura. Once the tree has been planted, I invite you to stay, enjoy the refreshments, and each other's company. In a few minutes, Ted Fuburayama from Delta Airlines will draw the winner of a round trip airline ticket to Japan, as was mentioned earlier. Thank you all very much for being here today, and we hope that you'll stay for a while. Have a good afternoon. <laughs>
Yeah, thank you all for participating in this historic event. To learn more about uh, the cultural assets here in Oakland County, visit AdvantageOakland.com.